Kia ora, it's Psychotic Mantis here. Now, being Friday and all, we're bringing you a different video, just something random. Anyway, what I thought I'd do this Friday is show off what I have on my characters, you know what I mean? Oh, let's not break things down. And yeah, just have a little chat about what I got on my different game accounts. Now we'll start off with Advanced Warfare. Got quite a few elites. I've got the uh, Giggle. I, I don't mind using that. Iron sights on it are a bit dirt. I don't like them. Um, another one I use would be Chicanery. That's quite nice with a uh, foregrip, some rapid fire, and a red dot. That thing mounts. Uh, steel buy. I'm not a big fan of personally. Uh, I mean, it does work. I have got the hole puncher. I'm just not a fan of the ARX. If it was full auto, then sure. But this burst fire jam, like, I'm, I'm not a big fan of it. Let's be real here. Speakeasy. Now, that is a pretty nice gun. I like it. It does the job. Pretty happy, you know. <sighs> we got some gears. We got our Inferno and our Steed. Now, these two are my favorite two. Probably Inferno taking the lead there. Um, yeah, Steed was brilliant. I got it actually right at the start of playing, but um, the Inferno is what I use it mainly with a uh, quick draw, possibly grip. I don't normally run grip, but I mean, I, I do sometimes. Extended mags, of course, and maybe a silencer, but definitely that extended mag and quick draw. All right, what else do we have in here? Uh, not a lot I use here. To be honest, so we'll skip to the next page. K5 Royalty, don't use that, but that's like one of my only royalty guns. Uh, not a lot. I, I don't use too many guns. Got both Morses, they're pretty cool. Silver Bullet's very nice, as it doesn't kick, but Ransacker does the job better, in my opinion. Alright. A lot of this stuff, yep, don't use these either, to be honest. Operator Gear, this is my favourite set to um, wear. Actually missing the shirt. Believe it or not, I had the shirt, but it broke down all my elite armor at one point. Uh, yeah, that's about it for the elite stuff. Let's move on to the professional. We've got the hole puncher, reckless, rigor, both, oh, all three of these are pretty beast, to be honest. Rigor, I actually really like. Hushed is an IMR I would hella recommend. No negatives to range, man. How could you ever complain about that? Now we've got our quick bolt. That sniper is the mores of choice, in my opinion. No negatives to accuracy, plus fire rate, a dash more mobility, but that's that's not the end of the world. You can deal with that. Yeah, that, that's about it for Advanced Warfare. We'll um, jump onto some Destiny. All right, boom. Now we have brought up Destiny. Now, um, I actually only have two characters. I have a Hunter and a Warlock. Both of them are level four. I did level a Titan slightly, but I wasn't that interested in it. So, didn't actually pursue that one too much. With the Taken King, I believe you get a free uh, level up. We'll jump on our Hunter, that's what I like at the moment. Um, you get a free level up character to the start of the Taken King quest. So, I'll make a Hunter and do that. So, that's quite cool there. It saves me leveling up that massively. I got some exotics for it. Anyway, we'll jump in. This is what I got equipped at the moment. We've got our nice Red Death. It's, I, it's a pulse rifle I actually really like. Um, I'm not entirely sure what happened to it after the patch. But um, it doesn't quite feel as good to me. But that just could be because I've been using the messenger. Now this thing is godlike, honestly. Even, even bad juju. That is really nice as well. I've got the uh, hard light as well, which I haven't really used. I haven't even upgraded it yet. Ooh, you can do that. All right, and yeah, Vex. I was I actually got that on what my first hard run, I think. Very lucky in that regard. Matador, pretty average one to be honest. This one's average. Black Camo. Infinite Theorem is what I have been using just to get that light level up. Now light level has changed, so it's dependent on your uh, weapons as well. Otherwise, I'd use the Swarm. The Swarm, man, this thing is a beast. Got the uh, Frontier Shell. We got the ah, oh, we got the cloak of the mantis. This is what I wear just to show off in PvP. But we're doing raiding some level up with this. Uh, Sanction six. We got lucky raspberry. Don't touch me. Arachnid. Celestial Nighthawk. Yeah, 
got some cool shaders, Chatter White, you know, Glow Herd, Queen's Web, this is actually a pretty sick shader to be honest. I just don't like how it rolls on the chest piece. I don't actually like the chest piece to be honest, but it's pretty good. Trials, Skullless, you know. Just got this last night, pretty happy about that. Got the Tumblr. Yeah, I don't actually know. What else is there? Let's 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 fly down to the tower. All right, now we're going to the uh, vault. What do we have in here? We have the Monte Carlo. That was my first exotic weapon. Plan C. I think I got that from uh, Atheon, to be honest. One of the raid bosses. We've got the Fourth Horseman. We've got Patience and Time. We've got Thunderlord, Hawkmoon, Ages of the Cow. Just got Water Water Crater last night. That's quite cool. Uh, yeah, not too much else worthy of note there. Ah, we've got the Ruin Wings for Titans, Chest of Alpha Loopy for Titans, Armamentarian for Titans, some nice little bonds and shaders, or oh, whatever the hell those things are called. Cloaks? Yeah, cloaks, there we go. Yeah, just some other random ass stuff. Alright, so we've managed to bring up the Warlock. My Warlock is, well, was my actual absolute favourite. I, I think I prefer the uh, Hunter, but. A nice swap between them. We've got the uh, Oversoul Edict on. Scholar on. We've got the uh, Icebreaker. Vistian. Exile's Curse. Got an Ash Factory. Pretty average roll, but no worry there. No worries there. Here we have got the Heart of Praxifier. This thing is gangster, and now I believe it gets kind of coloured in. Yeah, it does. I don't think the sides of it used to be coloured. So that's quite cool. Got the Void Fang vestments. They look, they actually look really cool. And they're like transmog in this game, to be honest. Sunbreaker's first exotic armor piece. We've got our nice ram helmet. And we've got the Light Beyond Nemesis. Frontier Shell again. Timebreaker, Tumblr. Oh, we have this. That ship is gangster, honestly. Alright, we've just jumped into the reef, and let's go talk to Varix. I think he has something for me. You are the oh, boom! Let's grab the Queen Breaker's bow. Pretty happy about this. Yeah! Boom! Queen Breaker's bow. Yeah! Goodbye, my friend. Let's check this out. Yeah, I am pretty happy about this. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, stay classy. Hope you enjoyed just what I roll. I mean, it's not massively interesting, but some of you might want to see it. And yeah, stay tuned. I will be having the weekend highlight reel on the Sunday night, possibly Monday morning, depending on where you are. So yeah, stay tuned for that, and we'll see you again next time.